So A, B, C, D is a trapezium. Trapezium means what? One pair of sides has to be parallel at least. So A, B is parallel to D, C. That's what they have given you. So that's why they're calling it as a trapezium. But what we are interested in this, one side being parallel to another. We'll see how that helps us. And E and F are points on the non-parallel sides, of course. You can see the figure and uh, A, D and B, C respectively, such that E, F is also parallel to A, B. EF is also parallel to AB. With all that information, what we have to prove? We have to show that AE by ED is equal to BF by FC. So remember, we had done this kind of proof for a triangle where one of the sides is parallel to this. So the ratios, we, we remember, we, we have done this. But they're asking you to do this same thing, similar kind of thing for trapezium also. Okay, so it works on the similar logic. We can divide this trapezium into triangles. So what we can do? This trapezium, we will divide it into two triangles. One triangle will be AE, not A, ADC. In this triangle, what will happen? We already know EF is parallel to AB. It's given right, EF is parallel to AB and AB is parallel to DC. So EF also has to be parallel to DC, right? EF. Sir, can you repeat it again, sir? See, this EF is parallel to AB. These two lines are parallel to each other. And we know that AB is parallel to DC. It was given right, AB is parallel to DC. So if EF is parallel to AB and DC is also parallel to AB, then DC and EF are also parallel with each other. Simple idea. Sir, can you once again explain? See, they have told you that EF is parallel to AB. This line EF is parallel to AB. Is that clear? You understand that these two lines are parallel? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, they have also told you that AB is parallel to DC. So what I'm saying is, then these two lines are also parallel with each other, right? EF and DC. Yes, sir. Yes, that's what. So, but you have to write it. Because they have not directly, they have not given that EF is parallel to DC. So you have to write it down, okay? When you solve this kind of problem. So what we do is, sir, I have a doubt. Today. Yes, Charan, is that you? Yes. Sir. Yeah, Charan, what's the doubt? Sir, now if we join AC, sir, then we'll prove that A E by E D will be equal to uh, A O by O C, sir. Okay. Same Charan, way. Okay. This yes. point, let's call it as G. Yeah. Now tell me what you want to say. Now, A E by E D is equal to A G by G C. Yes, absolutely right. Okay. Right, so, let's write down what is given first. Given that. AB is parallel to DC. And they have also given that EF is parallel to AB. Anything else given? No. We have to show something. What do we have to show? AE by ED is equal to BF by FC.
Now we have the triangle AE BC. So let's just focus on this triangle as of now. Okay, and we'll try to get this left hand side ratio AE by ED. And let's see what is that AE by ED equal to. So in triangle ABC, we can say that EG is parallel to. CD or DC. Why is it parallel? Just put in the bracket because since EF is parallel to AB and AB is parallel to DC. So that's why EG will, EG will be parallel to DC. Everyone okay with this up to here? Tell me. Yes, sir. Okay. So now looking at that just this triangle ADC using the tails theorem. Tell me what should I do? What can I write? AE by ED equal to AG by GC. Yes, absolutely right. By Thales theorem or BPT, we can say AE by EB is equal to AG by GC. You see, we have got the LHS of what we need to prove. But right now, this AE by ED, it's not equal to BF by FC, but it is equal to AG by GC. Okay. Now, what we do now? Anyone has any idea what we should do now? We'll take the next triangle. Next triangle, sir. Yes, we will take the next triangle that is ABC and forget about the rest. So, you see, we need BF by FC on the RHS, no? So, let's start from that. That should be our starting point. So, if GF is parallel to AB, use the BPT or Thales theorem and then try to figure out what is BF by FC equal to. That is the idea. What is BF by FC equal to? Because that is what we need on the RHS. BF by FC. Don't try to do FC by BF. Unnecessary. We need BF by FC. Start with that. Okay. So in triangle ABC, I will write it as in triangle ABC, we know that GF is parallel to AB. Why? Because EF is given that it is parallel to AB. It's given. And if GF is parallel to AB, then by Tails theorem or by BPT, whatever you want to write, write it. Tell me what should I do? I need the ratio BF by FC. So what will that be equal to? BF by FC is equal to what? AG by GC. EF by FC is equal to AG by GC. You see that? AG by GC. Let's just call this as the first equation. Okay. So we have got BF by FC is nothing but AG by GC, which is the same as the what we got as AE by ED equal to. So we can very simply say that. One and two. Excuse me, sir. Yes, tell me. Are you recording, sir? Yes, yes, it is recorded. Recording. Okay, sir. Okay. 
So everyone got this, how to do? Very simple, we just divided the trapezium into two triangles and one by one we took both the triangles and applied the BPT or Thales theorem. And uh, from the first triangle, we got the ratio AE by ED is equal to AG by GC. And then same AG by GC, we got it equal to BF by FC. So these two also have to be equal. That is how you write it. Tell me, everyone able to understand what happened? Yes, sir. Same AG by GC is equal to this also and this also. That is why these two have to be equal. So, moving on, the third example. What does it say in the given figure? It's given that PS by SQ, PS by SQ is equal to PT by TR. Okay, this is given to us. And angle PHT is equal to PRQ. Where is PHT? This is PST. And uh, where is PRQ? PRQ, okay. They're asking us to prove that PQR is an isosceles triangle. PQR is an isosceles triangle. How do we prove that it is isosceles? What strategy we should use here? We need to prove two sides are equal. Say that loudly again. I was not able to hear you. Repeat your answer, whatever you said, or question, whatever it was. Repeat. Sir, are we supposed to prove two sides are equal? Yes, that would be one of the ways. If we prove that the two sides PQ is equal to PR, that way also we can do it. Try to look at what things they have given to us. They already told you that these two ratios are equal. So from that, what can we derive? Forget about the rest of the... If they give us that these ratios are equal, from that, what do we understand? ST by is parallel to QR. Yes, this is just the converse of the BPT, right? This is just the converse of BPT. So whichever this, that says that if the ratios are equal, then the lines will be parallel, right? So if I know ST is parallel to QR, then how can I use the other information? What information is given? This angle over here, they are saying that this angle is equal to this angle. How can I combine this information and the one which we derived that these two are parallel to prove that the triangle is isosceles? Think about that. Take a minute. So we can extend this picture. From that, we can find the angle R, R, O, R, R. Then it will be alternate. Karan, speak a little slowly. Your, your mic or your audio is not very clear, okay? So try speaking a little slowly. What are you saying? Say that again. Sir, we can extend the ST, sir. ST, extend it, okay? Do you need to extend? Okay, what do you want to do if we extend? Which side? Uh, uh, towards ST, sir. Towards uh, yes, sir. Okay. Now, uh, our, uh, angle RT, we can mark that one more point as sir, ORT. Then RTO will be uh, equal to QRT, sir. Now, uh, vertically opposite angle. Those two angles will be equal. So, Okay, that is fine. You can do that. But why are you forgetting that if the lines are parallel, corresponding angles will be equal, no? Yes, sir. So we can directly use the corresponding angles. You see, this angle will become equal to this angle. And they have already said that this angle is equal to this angle. What does it mean? These two are also equal? Yes, sir. So let me give them some names. Let's say this is angle 1 and this is angle 2. They have already told you that angle 1 is equal to 2. But 
we know that if st is parallel to qr then by corresponding angles this angle 1 and 3 is also equal so angle 1 is equal to 2 and angle 1 is equal to 3 also so of course 2 and 3 also have to be equal now in a triangle if we have the base angles equal is that not sufficient to tell that these two this is an isosceles triangle yes so, sir yes if in a triangle if you know that the base angles are equal then the opposite sides the sides opposite opposite to the equal angles are equal okay so we can use that idea everybody understood that how to what strategy we are going to use confirm yes sir okay so try doing this do this on your own all of you completed sir okay very good done sir okay very good completed sir okay good so uh, what we have what we are doing is just see how i am writing it you can write it differently also doesn't matter but the idea all the all the important concepts which i have used here that has to be used you have to mention that these ratios are equal so we are using the converse of bpt that means st is parallel to qr this you have to do and once it is parallel you will know that the corresponding angles which is pst and pqr this angle and this angle they will be equal and you have to mention this reason also corresponding angles okay and then this is already given in the question itself pst is equal, angle pst is equal to angle prq so use combine this first equation and second equation and we'll get the angle pqr is equal to prq Okay, I wrote it by mistake. P R T over here. It should be P R Q, right? Yes, sir. This should be P R Q. That's what is given. Angle P S T is equal to P R Q. So P S T is equal to this also. P S T is equal to this also. So these two also should be equal. Simple idea. And we know that sides opposite to equal angles are equal. So this is an isosceles triangle. Therefore, PQ is equal to PR. Hence, what did they ask us to prove? PQR is an isosceles triangle. So let's write that. Hence, PQR is an
Sir, can you scroll up, sir? Thank you, sir. If you work on this first question, exercise 6.2, first question, just use the PPT and find whatever they're asking. In the first question, you have to find the value of EC. This one. Can you all do this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, do this quickly. Completed. Completed. Sir, can I do second one, sir? Yes, yes. Complete second one. Yes, complete both of them. This should be very simple, straightforward. Angle is given. They have told you that E is parallel to BC, so just use the APT, AD by DB is equal to AE by EC. Or since we need to find EC, some people may also write EC. Directly you can write EC by AE is equal to BD by AD. And then transpose your AE to the other side. You can directly write this also. From the, instead of writing this one. Sir, EC is 2, sir. Your audio is not clear. Sir, EC is 2, no, sir. Okay, let's see. What is BD? BD is 3, AD is 1.5, and A is 1. So this is two centimeter. Yes, absolutely right. Very good. Same way. Tell me what's AD in the second one. 1 minute we are doing. Yes, yes. All of you completed quickly. Tell me once you're done or put it in the chat window. All of you answer. What is AD equal to? Should be two point four, okay? What can we write? A D by D B is equal to A by E C. So A D is nothing but one point eight by five point four and transpose this to the other side B D. So it will be seven point two. Remove the decimals. You know, 18 threes are 54. Yes, sir. 2.4. Divided, it will be 2.4. Sir, shall I do second one, sir? Yes, all of you who have completed the first question, move on to the second one. Completed, sir. Good. Me too, sir. Completed. Okay, that's good. The first question completed. Okay. Work on the second one also. Completed, sir. Second one. Second one, second part. Okay. Now in third one, sir. Good, 
Posso pensar? Sir, third one completed. Third question? Yes, sir. Okay, that's good. Completed the third one, move on to the fourth one then. Sir, I have fourth one doubt, sir. That's okay, then move on to the fifth one. I will come to fourth one, I will solve that, okay? Try fifth okay, one. Okay, sir. remaining two also you will do it same way in some of the cases they may be equal the ratios may be equal so wherever the ratios are equal that's where the ef will be parallel to qr 